that God wants the fruitfulness of your life to increase. Now, fruit is the natural result of health. Healthy fruit, come, healthy trees, I'll say it this way, or healthy plants produce healthy or good fruit. And we're called, you and I are called to be fruit bearers. Very clearly, we're called to be fruit bearers in the kingdom of God. We're to be healthy, growing in our relationship with Jesus in such a way that fruit is coming from our lives. Something, is, something positive is being produced through our lives. Now, Jesus made this extremely clear in John chapter 15, these first five verses. Let me read this for you from the New International Version. Jesus says, I am the true vine and my father is the gardener. He cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit, while every branch that does bear fruit he prunes so that it will be, it will be even more fruitful. You are already clean because of the word I have spoken to you. Remain in me, or an old translation says abide in me, remain in me as I also remain in you. No branch can bear fruit. What's the theme of this? You see it coming up time and time again, the idea of fruit. No branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. I am the vine. You are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. Now notice in these five verses, over and over again, the theme is fruit. Jesus says, I'm the vine, you're the branches, and I want you to bear fruit. I want you to remain in me so that fruit will be a part of your life. Fruit, more fruit, and much fruit. You'll see that progression in this particular passage. Again, bear fruit, bear more fruit, bear much fruit. 